In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the text features in Vinyl Master, which are extensive and provide you with a number of specialist tools to create text-based signage. So to begin with, I'll open up a document that contains a good set of these examples and features. Now I'll do this from clicking on this button here, Open Document. Now all these VDocs here are available to you in your Samples folder in Vinyl Master. So I'll come down here and I'll click on TextTools.VDoc and I'll open this up. Now this is a good example of the sorts of text that you can create using Vinyl Master. Over here on the left we've got like this vertical text on a path here. Now if I click on that and I go into text mode, you can see I can adjust this as so. So these are all live real te text examples, they're not contrived in any way whatsoever. Here we've got vertical text and as you can see the cursor changes for vertical text. Uh, over here we've got arc text and you can see the gizmo here that comes out and I can obviously resize this. Here I've got text that's got no fill style, but it's got a pen style as you can see. So we can apply pen styles to text, which is great for like large format printing and the like. Down here we've got our standard type text tools like bold for example, and you can see when I click on it, up here in the second row of tools it shows us that it's bold. Again for italic. And if I go to say underline here, you can see that that underline style is recognised. We have things like all caps, which you can see in this drop down here, all caps. Things like small caps. Again up here, we have superscript, and when I click on superscript, this tool up here shows a superscript. We have things like subscript, again subscript, and we have different things like strike through and overline, double underline, all these sorts of things. So we can apply and make all sorts of artistic text. This is what we call our, so well, se separate pieces of text we call artistic text. Then we have things like setting our uh, our kerning you know, our positioning or our relationship between letters so that our spacing between these letters is, uh, we can set the kerning for these things. So if I click in here you'll see that we have all our kerning types. So like factory default, touch kerning, as you can see as I'm going through these, these things update up here. So we can set our relationships between our characters here and their kerning. Here's text on a path here and if I just, you know, slide this around you can see what we can do here. There's the path there. So we've got these sorts of controls. On page two here, this goes into sort of like the text box. So this is, uh, you know, paragraph type text or text within a text box. So this text is wrapped or contained within the um, within the actual text box itself. So if I resize it, you can see the text just follows that sizing. Down here we have text box with tabs, so we can set things like menu boards and we can set the relationship between uh, blocks of information. So here with this pizza board we can set this to a right tab so the text flows to the right like so and we can t uh, set left tabs and we can set all these sorts of things. Up here we have bullet points so you can see I can, I can adjust the position of our bu bullet points. I can select these things individually and change things like colours and things. I can even change that particular symbol. I can come down here and change it to something else. So I've got these sorts of controls on my bullet points. Here's a result of uh, some auto numbering we've done. So we've got a real estate agent, we've got some lot boards to make up for them and we can use our auto numbering to create these sorts of things. So we can create consecutive number series as you can see here and we can do this using the program rather than having to top all these individually. So that's another great tool feature or feature we've got with text. Here on page 3 we have uh, text that's wrapping to this object. So you can see we've got this picture of this sort of apple here and this text, I'll just go into text mode, you can see the text is actually wrapping around this. And I can set all these parameters of how this actually wraps around this object. So if I select on the object here, I can actually set like the offset. Here I've got 1.575 inches. I can change that and you can see the text automatically updates. So I've got these sorts of controls here. And we've got different types of text here. We've got like text that wraps inside this, uh, this object, text that wraps to the right hand side, text that wraps around it but not inside it, as it does here. You know, we can set all these options. If we select on the object here, we can change all these options here. So we've got lots of text tools. In fact, when you add them all up, there's uh, a great deal of text tools uh, and um, you can really lay out quite intricate artwork using some of these tools. Now I'll give you an example of that. I'll go to page um, 4 here and I'll show you how to create some of these text tools and where we can access things about um, you know, editing them and modifying them. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just quickly show you how we create text in the program. It's very easy. Um, I'll just zoom into this page. I've put this here just to save time by just uh, preparing this ahead of time. 
Now, if I come here, I can click on the A tool here, so you can see artistic text. I can come here, I can type in something like the quick brown fox, as you can see. Okay, so that, that puts it in there like that. Now I can come here and I can, um, in text mode, I can do things like turn my spell checking on or off, as you can see here. So I've got these sorts of controls. So I've got spell checking controls. So if I misspell a word, I'll turn that back on. If I misspell the word like uh, this, you can see that it, it shows me that I've done that. I can then right click on it and I get my spelling su uh, suggestions and I've got Fox and all these other uh, you know, close close similarities to that what that text I've just typed in. So I can just select that and change it. And if I don't want to have spell checking on, I can just turn it off, as you can see. So I have these sorts of controls. Now it's important to recognise in Viola Master that whatever you do in the designing area, you'll see in the second row of tools, tools and features relevant to what we're working on. So it's important to remember that. So that's how we create artistic text. That's just single slabs of text like this, although we can carriage return this and go, um, you know, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, for example. We can do this as well. We can do carriage returns and have great big slabs of artistic text. But the idea with artistic text, basically, I can easily delete that like that. The idea with artistic text is that we use this text to create, you know, features and uh, we do spe special things with this text. You know, we change its colour and, it's, and we might make it bold and italic and all those sorts of things. And like use it as a heading or something, for example. You know, this is the sorts of things we would use artistic text for. Another type of text is uh, paragraph text. So we click on this button here and we just draw out a text box like this. And again, we can type in the quick brown fox or so, dot, dot, dot. And spell checking and all these sorts of things work exactly the same with the text box. But if I scroll over here to my example that I was going to show you here, we can actually wrap this text to the edge of the text box. And this gives us more controls. We can come up here and we can start doing things like align the text to the left or align it to the centre, as you can see here. I can either select it or just have the text box selected like this. And as you can see, it's, remember that it's to the centre. I can do it to the right, to the left. I can force justify it or I can plus justify it. I've got these sorts of controls. So this is a great thing with text boxes. You can actually set how you want the text to, uh, to actually fit within an actual boundary as a text box. And we can add tabs and things to this, but I'll explain those a bit later. So that's how we create text box text. And we can just resize that and put that like so. Then we get some more advanced sort of things where we start talking about vertical text. So I can click in here and I can type in hotel, for example, which is you know a common sort of thing that you see with vertical text. So that's how we do vertical text. We simply just go into vertical text mode and, uh, and just type it in like that. Then we just come out of that and just go into regular text mode and it just remembers that we're now in regular text mode. So swapping between text modes is very easy. Uh, other things we can do with vertical text is like um, uh, rotate it back around to normal text. So for example, if I go here, I can actually make that to ter vertical text by just doing that, as you can see. I can undo on that and come back to normal. So that's vertical text. So that's our toggle to vertical there, is that button. Then we go to these sorts of things like arc text. So if I make some arc text here, I might go the quick brown fox dot 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 dot. So to make arc text, it's just a matter of typing in or clicking on this button and then just typing in our text. So we just position it and type away. And as I showed you on, we'll just go to page one here, there's various ways of doing arc text. See up here, we get these second row of tools here and we can put all the arc text on the bottom put it all on the top, or we can split it. So we have these sorts of controls. Now it's important, I'll just make this point here. Everything I'm showing you here has its own lesson in the manual, or its own help file in the manual, and a lesson. You know, uh, uh, like the one you're watching here, where we have a video showing you how to do these things. So I'm not going to go in and show you how to do all the actual, you know, technical use of these things. It's just more the point I'm just showing you where to find these things. So okay, that's how we do artistic text, paragraph text, vertical text and uh, you know text on an arc as I've just shown you there and I can come back and click on these things and you can see it remembers the type of text it is you can see it instantly recognizes that's vertical text but if I click on this it recognizes that that's just regular text or arc text in this case so that's how we create that sort of text now if we wanted to create text on a path the first thing we need to do is actually create the path so if I come here let's go to freehand curve 
So I just make this sort of wacky looking shape here. And I want to apply some text to this. So all I simply do is I uh, click on the text I want to apply to here, click on this, and I just come up to this tool here and go fit text to path. And it fits it like that. And then I can, you know, use the roller coaster ride to move it around or so, or I can drag it out like that. So I can do these sorts of things as you can see. Okay, and if I come and edit the path, you know, so my text automatically updates with that. And I can wrap text to any path I like. I mean, it doesn't have to be to a, like a curve object. I mean, I could wrap it to say, for example, um, I don't know, uh, a square. So I can draw out a square like this, and I could say, uh, just copy some text from here. Just copy this last. No, I won't copy that much. I'll copy say this much. Okay, so Control C. Go out here, type it in, and what I can do is I can have that text, this path, and again click on that button and you can see it wraps to that path. I can then edit that and I can just do the roller coaster right around as you can see there as I zoom into it. So that's how we fit text to a path as so. Very easy. Uh, and we have all sorts of controls over the text. This text remains as text. I mean it's not like it's changed in any way. I mean if I want to, for example, I could make that um, bold and I could make it italic, etc. So there's no sort of uh, you know, limitation on what you can do with the text itself once it's converted into or applying around a path or on an arc or vertical or whatever, we can uh, change these things. Um, so that explains how you create all these types of text. Now if you want to do auto numbering, again that's very easy, we just have a, uh, I'll just type in some text here like a letter say A, you need to have some text to bring up the auto number um, feature, so click on that there and we can click apply and we see our auto numbers here and again before we had what uh, lot we put in a space we might do a suffix here um, space remax as an example of a client we might have I won't see anything else click apply and as you can see it instantly applies this um, I didn't put any spacing but you can see how it instantly applies this uh, repetitive text so we can make consecutive text very very easy it's a very straightforward thing now the other thing to important uh, remember with text is that a lot of the things you can do with it uh, you can also access with a right click. So I come in here and right click, I get these text tools and options when I'm in text. Text mode with text selected or in object mode with text selected as you can see there. And I can come in here and do other things. I've got all these tools and controls. I mean I can convert that text to artistic text if I want to or some other type of text. I can use my find and replace tool. I can break this text down. I have all these sorts of options. I can bring up the auto numbering uh, window. You know, I can do other things as well, um, like convert the text to curves if I wanted to, for whatever particular reason, or to a bitmap, for example. You know, I've got all these sorts of co controls and tools with my right-click menus, and with text, right-click is actually quite a handy thing to have. You know, if I've got text, uh, artistic text selected, you know, I can change things like fonts. You know, I can make that say impact, as you can see. Um, you know, I can change the font style. I can uh, you know, set spacing and skewing and all sorts of things. So it's important to remember you've got those right click menus as well. So that's how we create text. And another thing I wanted to quickly show you was um, the find and replace tools. Now this also brings me to the menus as well. In Vinyl Master we have a lot of menus for text. So if you come up to here and click on this text menu, when I've got text selected you can see I can set things like font, my text styles, I can look at my text effects like I was showing you on the first page, all these underline type effects. I can come to my character formatting, again, small caps, all caps, all the things I showed you on the first page. Then I can do some paragraph formatting because I've got a text box selected here. So I can set things like indents and my line spacing, word spacing. I can set my justification to be really, really highly accurate. I can uh, split characters over lines. I can set my elasticity, uh, character to word space ratio. These are quite advanced concepts. Again, they have their own uh, uh, help file in the manual, which you can come and uh, have a look at and have a read over. We can set things like all our tabs, how often we have our tabs. We can clear tabs. We can set things like the number of columns and the space between the columns. We can set things like our bullets, as you can see here, whether this text box has got text wrapping turned on or off, the sort of uh, text wrapping it's got. So if I might make the say full justify like this, or I might, um, come back up to here to uh, this, I might say just make it left as you can see. So I can control all these sorts of things from the menus. I can change the case if I want all this to be uppercase as you can see, very easy. 
Uh, I can do all these sorts of things. I can toggle things to vertical. I can turn, well, spell checking. This is telling me that spell checking is turned off. Obviously, I showed you before how to turn that on. I can set things like the kerning and tracking here. I can convert uh, one type of text into another type of text and back again. I can set things like fit text to path. I can break text down to lines and paragraphs and all sorts of things. I can also access things like my um, font manager and font detective and font backups and all these sorts of things here. I can even see my text statistics, you know, about this, this information here, about the text itself. So I have a lot of control from these menus and a lot of control from my right-click menus, as you can see. So getting around text and editing text is very easy in Vinyl Master. It's really not that complicated. And the important thing is, is that you can create so many different types of text. And, uh, you know, as I've said earlier, you can create all sorts of intricate and detailed artwork using these text tools. One uh, really cool thing I wanted to show you is I'll just go into text mode here. We've also got things like find and replace. So we can do the typical find and replace text, you know, look for this word, replace it with that word, etc. Or find text, just so if we've got big slabs of text, we've got all these default type, regular type, find and replace tools. But uh, aside from that, we've got a much more powerful tool for finding and replacing fonts. Now this is really quite a, a, a good thing. So if I can go to the fonts here, I can find, I find and highlight the selected font. So let's say I've got a whole bunch of text and I'm trying to find all instances of, say, uh, in this case, impact. Very easy. I just come here to fonts. I go find and highlight the selected font and you can see what it does. So that gives me the option by finding it and highlighting it, it means I can change it. I can change this to a different font. I don't need to use that font anymore. I can make that Times New Roman if I want to or, you know, some other font, you know, to Homer or whatever. Uh, I have this sort of control. So that's a very cool thing to be able to find individual fonts within text. But it goes further than that. I can actually find all instances of, say, italic here by going edit, find, replace, fonts. And I can go font style, as you can see here. So it shows me all my italics. So I can make them more bold if I wanted to for example. So that's another great thing. Now if I wanted to, for example, change um, all this to something else, I could. what I could do is go edit, find and replace fonts. I can copy the font style to the clipboard, okay, and then I can find some other font style, like this one here, I can select over it like that, and I can go find and replace and I can actually click on paste it from the clipboard. So now I can turn this text that was just regular text into the other uh, uh, font style I had which was italic. So that's a great way of being able to go through and change large blocks of text semi-automatically by being able to select the font. Well it's actually automatic really because you just select the one you want to change um, and you just copy that font style to the clipboard and then you can apply it to any other uh, text you select. So that's a really cool way of changing large blocks of fonts. And that gives you an example of some of the advanced tools that you can actually use in this program. Now the other thing with text you've got to remember is that text as text is fine, but in Vinyl Master you can take it much further than that. So not only can you create all these wonderful things like this, you can then come in with this text and do things with the text. You know, I mean obviously we've got all these sorts of things which are regular like menu boards and consecutive numbers and you know your, your vanilla type bullet points and you know text boxes and you know, all these sorts of uh, effects. That's just, just standard text. You know, you can take it a lot further than that. For example, if I go to, say, a new page here, and I typed in, say, I don't know, um, uh, Vinyl Master, like this, and I make this bigger, I can then do things with the text, like I can change its color, obviously, you know, standard type things, but I can come in here and do things like outline, as you can see, and I can adjust these things, get rid of the, uh, the offset or the inset if I don't want it. Okay, I can do all this sort of stuff like this. And then I can do other things like, uh, I'll just, actually, the easiest way is just to ungroup that. I can do things like, whoop, I need to fly that out. I can do things like a block shadow like this. So I can add all these sorts of effects to text, as you can see, like this. And then if I want to, I can then take this even further. I can select over this whole thing and I can like apply a distortion to this. For example, I might use the envelope distortion here. Okay? And as you can see, I can do all sorts of wacky effects with text uh, by distorting it like this. I can undo this. And 
when I'm just doing these standard type um, uh, outline effects and multi outline effects, etc., I can actually still do this. I can like call this like Vinyl Master XPT. And I just click back on this tool here, and you can see it recalculates the whole thing. So while you're applying these sorts of vector effects to text, it stays as text. Um, and I'll just copy, make a copy of this here. And you can also apply special effects. Like I can come here, I'll just make this, um, I'll make it a bit smaller so we can actually make the point here. So I'll make this a bit bigger. And I'll make this bold. I can come in and start doing things like applying these presets here. And I can do our favourite gold effect that you see everywhere. Or if I'm wanting to come up with something different, I could probably come up with, you know, some sort of chrome effect like so. And then I can come in and uh, go to my shading tools here and start doing extra things like, you know, adding an offset like this. So I can, you know, come up with all sorts of wonderful things to text. But the great thing is, is that if I want to change this to something else, like let's say I want to make this VMP, I can just change that to a P and it automatically updates it. So text remains as text with the uh, special effects and regular vector effects. It's only when I convert things to a distortion that they don't, no longer are text. But these are some of the sorts of things you can do with text. They are quite advanced uh, concepts and you can make some absolutely stunning signage using all these text tools that you've got here at your disposal. So you can sort of put all the text into the, uh, the format you want to put it into and then you can come in and start uh, applying all these special effects and vector effects and different types of things you can do with it. Um, I can change colours and things as you can see here. So, you know, I have uh, a large number of controls and tools that I can do with text. So that explains uh, how we create text as I showed you here. Um, to create all this text here is just simply coming in and clicking on these flyouts here. Uh, artistic text just to make artistic text and then you have these sorts of flyouts here to make the text. It's very easy. We have uh, a number of advanced tools up here in our, in our text menu. We can right click on text and do other things here. And we can um, create all sorts of text as I've shown you and then apply the special effects. So that's how we uh, create text. Uh, and, and I'll just quickly remind you that remember go up to the help menu and click on the help topics up here um, and you can see a, a, you know individual help files on all these subjects, all these different types of text. We've gone to a lot of trouble to show you all that. Um, and we encourage you to look at that and watch the lessons on text. And uh, that's the end of this tutorial.